Tenoxicam, detailed drug monograph. Generic name, drug class, brand name, drug forms. Generic name, Tenoxicam. Chemical name, 4-hydroxy-2-methyl-n-pyridin-2-yl, 2-H-theano-2-3-E, 1-2-thiazine-3-carboxamide, 1.1-dioxide. Drug class, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID. Subclass, Oxicam derivative. Pharmacologic class, prostaglandin synthesis inhibitor. Common brand names, Tilcatil, Mobiflex, Tenno, Tenuk, Apotenoxicam. Available drug forms, tablets, 10 mg, 20 mg. Injection, lyophilized powder for IM or IV use, 20 mg vial. Topical forms, less common, available in certain regions. Number two, definition tenoxicam is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAC belonging to the oxicam group. It is used for the management of pain, inflammation, and stiffness associated with both acute and chronic musculoskeletal disorders. Because of its long elimination half-life, it allows once daily dosing. Number three, mechanism of action. Tenoxicam acts primarily by inhibiting cyclooxygenase, COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes, which are responsible for converting arachidonic acid into prostaglandins. Key effects. Prostaglandin synthesis, inflammation and swelling, peripheral pain sensitization, analgesic effect, hypothalamic prostaglandin E2, antipyretic effect, pharmacodynamic properties. Anti-inflammatory, analgesic, and antipyretic effects are achieved through both peripheral and central mechanisms. Unlike corticosteroids, it does not affect cortisol secretion. Long duration of action, due to a 60-75 hour half-life, allows once daily dosing. Number four, pharmacokinetics, parameter, description, absorption, rapid and nearly complete after oral administration, bioavailability, 100%, no significant first pass effect, peak plasma concentration, Tmax, two four hours post oral dose, protein binding 99%, mainly to albumin, Distribution, widely distributed into synovial fluid and tissues. Metabolism, hepatic, mainly via CYP2C9 to inactive metabolites. Elimination, half half 60 to 75 hours, allows once daily dosing. Excretion, two-thirds via urine as metabolites, remainder via feces. Steady state concentration, reached after 10 to 15 days of continuous dosing. Share five, have uses. Therapeutic uses, osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, acute gouty arthritis, acute musculoskeletal disorders, e sprains, strains, low back pain, periarticular disorders, bursitis, tendinitis, synovitis, postoperative and dental pain relief. Number six, indications, clinical condition, typical use, osteoarthritis, symptomatic relief of joint pain and inflammation. Rheumatoid arthritis, reduction of inflammation, stiffness, and pain. Acute gout, rapid control of pain and swelling, musculoskeletal disorders, relief of acute pain due to trauma or overuse. Postoperative pain, short-term relief, parenteral administration. Numbers mar seven. Contraindications, hypersensitivity to tenoxicam or any NSAID. History of asthma, urticaria, or allergic type reactions following aspirin or other NSAIDs. Active peptic ulcer, GI bleeding, or history of recurrent ulcer disease, severe hepatic impairment or renal failure, severe heart failure or uncontrolled hypertension, pregnancy, especially third trimester, and lactation, children 18 years, safety not established, perioperative use in coronary artery bypass graft, CABG surgery. Eight precautions before taking tenoxicam. Inform your doctor if you have history of ulcer, GI bleeding, or Crohn's disease, hypertension, edema, or cardiac insufficiency, renal or hepatic disease, diabetes mellitus, asthma or allergic rhinitis, avoid alcohol, increases GI irritation, monitor renal and hepatic function if used long-term, may impair fertility reversible upon discontinuation, avoid concurrent NSAIDs or aspirin, use caution in elderly patients, greater risk of side effects. And after nine, how to use oral administration Take once daily with or after food to minimize stomach upset. Swallow whole with a full glass of water. Do not crush or chew tablets. Parenteral injection administered intramuscularly or intravenously by a healthcare provider. Reconstitute vial with sterile water before injection. Use only for short-term management of acute pain. Number 10, dosing information, indication, dose, and duration. Rheumatoid osteoarthritis, 20 milligrams once daily, Acute musculoskeletal pain or soft tissue disorders, 20 milligrams once daily for 7 to 14 days. 
acute gouty arthritis, 40 milligrams once daily for two days, then 20 milligrams daily for five days. Postoperative pain, IMIV, 20 milligrams daily for up to five days. Elderly patients, start at lower dose, monitor renal and hepatic function, open quote. Note, do not exceed 20 milligrams per day for maintenance. Always use the lowest effective dose for the shortest possible time. Close quote. 11. Missed dose and overdose. Missed dose, take as soon as you remember. If near the next dose, skip the missed one. Do not double the next dose. Overdose, symptoms, nausea, vomiting, epigastric pain, dizziness, headache, GI bleeding, renal failure, respiratory depression, hypotension, management, supportive care, and symptomatic treatment. Activated charcoal if within one hour of ingestion. Monitor renal and hepatic function. No specific antidote available. 12. When to stop or avoid tenoxicam. Stop immediately and seek medical advice if you experience severe abdominal or stomach pain, vomiting blood or black terry stools, chest pain, shortness of breath, weakness or slurred speech, swelling of legs or sudden weight gain, yellowing of skin or eyes, jaundice, rash, itching or difficulty breathing, allergic reaction. NASHTAR 13, side effects. Common 1 to 10%, dyspepsia, nausea, heartburn, abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation, headache, dizziness, edema, fluid retention, skin rash or itching, uncommon rare 1%, peptic ulcer or GI bleeding, increased liver enzymes, hypertension, palpitations, photosensitivity, urticaria, hematuria or proteinuria, serious, rare but important, gastrointestinal perforation or bleeding, hepatotoxicity, jaundice, hepatitis, renal impairment or failure, severe allergic reactions, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, anaphylaxis, cardiovascular events, MI, stroke with long-term use. Number 14, vital information patient counseling points. Take with food or milk to reduce stomach irritation. Avoid alcohol and other NSAIDs. Notify physician if persistent stomach pain or dark stools occur. Monitor blood pressure regularly. Long-term users should have periodic renal, liver, and hematologic tests. Not recommended during pregnancy or breastfeeding. Stop use immediately if allergic symptoms develop. Number 15, drug interactions, drug class, effect, anticoagulants, e.g. warfarin, heparin, risk of bleeding, antiplatelet agents, e.g. aspirin, clopidogrel, GI bleeding risk, corticosteroids, e.g. prednisone, risk of GI ulceration bleeding, ACE inhibitors, ARBs diuretics, renal function, risk of nephrotoxicity, lithium, serum lithium levels, toxicity, methotrexate, methotrexate toxicity, delayed clearance, cyclosporin, tacrolimus, nephrotoxic effects, SSRIs, e.g. sertraline fluoxetine, GI bleeding risk, antihypertensives, may reduce antihypertensive effect, alcohol, risk of GI irritation and bleeding. Thank you. Have a nice day.